Question 33. Propionoid acid can be used to make propene by two-stage synthesis. Okay, so first, we need to reduce the propionoid acid. Let this propionoid acid form the uh, alcohol first. Okay, in order to reduce the propionoid acid or carboxylic acid, we need to use lithium aluminum hydride. Only lithium aluminum hydride can use to reduce carboxylic acid. Sodium borohydride cannot be used. It just can use to reduce aldehyde, ketone, and others, but not carboxylic acid. Okay, so um, I make this uh, reduction in two steps. Okay, because uh, it's actually uh, involve removal of oxygen. Okay, after that it will form the aldehyde. After that. This aldehyde will add two hydrogen, one hydrogen here, another hydrogen here. So then it will form propane one O. Okay, after it's formed this propane one O, then it can undergo dehydration. Okay, again, from this propanoid acid to this propane one O is just one reduction step. Okay, so once it's formed this propane one O, so this H and this OH can be removed okay, and it will form this propene. Okay, so therefore, we're going to use lithium aluminum hydride and the concentrated H2SO4 okay, for this dehydration. Uh, some of you may ask uh, why uh, this one cannot. Okay, this one we use for halogenol alkene. So it's not for the alcohol. So when we have this uh, sodium hydroxide in ethanol, uh, is for the elimination in halogenol alkene. So this one cannot be used. Okay, therefore, answer is A. Okay, that's all. Thank you.